What three important features are used by botanists to divide plants into four groups? First off, we should look at how plants are classified. The plant kingdom is divided into 12 phyla, and these phyla are gathered into four groups. So four groups, the groups are non-vascular plants, seedless vascular plants, non-flowering plants, and flowering plants. These four groups were based on the evolutionary history of significant features in plants. The three important features used by botanists to divide plants into the four groups are vascular tissue, seeds, and flowers and fruits. The first feature, vascular transportation of water and food throughout the plant. The phyla that existed before the evolution of the vascular tissue are called the non-vascular plants. This means organisms in those phyla do not have um, vascular tissue. An example of a plant without vascular tissue is moss. They are often referred to as the green fuzz on damp rocks and trees. The second feature is the development of the seed. Plants that evolve vascular tissue, but not seeds, are in the group seedless vascular plants. For example, ferns. Ferns are leafy plants that are found in moist environments and under forest canopies. They are vascular plants, however, unlike other vascular plants who grow immediately from the seed, ferns reproduce from spores. The last important feature is flowers and fruits. The plants with vascular tissues and seeds, but who lack flowers, are called gymnosperms. They are found in non-flowering plant group. The plants that have vascular tissue, seeds, and flowers and fruits are known as angiosperms. They are found in the flowering plant group. An example of a gymnosperm would be a pine tree. They have vascular tissue and seeds, however, they do not have flowers or fruits. An example of an angiosperm would be that of any flowering plant, such as a daisy. Thanks for watching.